tubers welcome back just got back from the hardware store I had to uh, had to go and get me a few of these Allen screws I want to get my uh, fan bolted on today I'm really really hoping what I would like to do I guess the the day's goal would be to get my uh, top cooling tins on and get my carburetors on it today that'd be awesome so we'll see how it goes all right tubers let's put this uh fan on this engine you got an alignment pin that's right here that's your alignment pin goes in this hole here so you really can't go wrong once you get it lined up the way it needs to go then you can just kind of tap it on take my hammer and we'll try to tap it back in place but we'll try to do it without knocking all the paint off my fan all right put a little bit of low strength loctite on these had to go to the hardware and get these and my other ones were not in really good shape so just kind of go around these guys when you're tightening it down it'll work the uh, fan right back into place all right I'll lock it lock the engine down and uh, lock it down if I can get some torque on those but that's the fan install I'll finish tightening that up and then we'll uh, carry on all right let's go ahead and uh, get these flaps installed got these little bushings is how I refer to them they uh, they're gonna snap around they're gonna snap around this rod in this position and then they just push down in there and they let they let the flaps open and close. We got a few things to do here. Uh, let me get my light so you can see. On this side, I've got to pull this up, and it's going to snap around this one. Going to snap around that right there. I got to get that done. I got to get the retainer right here and get my spring tension set. I'm going to go ahead and do all those things and then give you a shot of it how it works. Hey, I got all the. Um, flap system installed. I want to show you how it works. This It's got a spring right here. You just flip that spring back. That loads tension on this system when you flip that spring back. Then you just tighten the screw down. It's got a little tab that comes all the way across the bar. How it works, um, when your cable comes from underneath the engine, it comes up through this hole right here. Okay? And then when it's cold, everything, you know, the, the thermostat's cold, you pull this down, okay, and then you run the cable through this clamp right here, then you tighten the nut down. Okay, that's got the whole system loaded. Alright, now if you notice on this side, you can see the old cooler there. That's, the air's going to blow through there, but what's going to happen when the engine gets warm, this is going to close like this, and then you've got air flowing underneath here that's going to go directly across the oil cooler and then the air is going to flow through here and go across the tins. It's really, really an ingenious system. I'm, I love Volkswagens obviously. I'm, I'm just so impressed with how they can take something so simple and engineer it to work so well. It's a really, really cool system. So I'm um, going to go ahead and get the top cylinder tins on now. All right, on the engine tins here. I want to get back to that? I set my engine tin down on the motor, and I just started my screws um, here. Just worked my way on around. There's a screw down here. You've got to get one here. And the reason I do that is because if I tighten this screw down, it wouldn't be so easy to manipulate this tin. You've got to kind of uh, stretch it and pull it in place as you go because. They never set on there perfectly. They're always a little bit distorted from the actual, uh, you know, the exact screw hole. So anyway, that's just a tip. All right, guys, here's my box of parts. 
I mentioned in a previous video that my dad had traded me out some work for these. He did not want uh, dual carbs on his 1915. He thought it'd be too troublesome for him to tune on and so on and so forth. So he said if I hooked him up with a progressive carb that he would give me these uh, Weber's. They are a uh, Uh, these are a, a Weber dual 40s so I had to get these guys on and they may require a little tuning I think that they're jetted with a 50 right now um, not sure how that's going to work out I was jetting those on the 1915 and I'm sure it'll probably be just a little require a little different jet than uh, this 1700 so We'll go ahead and uh, see if we can get these uh, dudes bolted on. All right, guys. Uh, I want to show you show you my Christmas present. In order for these carburetors to work on this top four, I had to order a new set of intake manifolds. These are for a top four, and this is part of a set for a top one. You can see the difference. See, this is where it mounts to the head. On the top four, this is where it mounts to the head. Um, my dad got me these for Christmas. Uh, like I say, they, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, they came from CB Performance. Love CB Performance, man. They always have a good product. So, do want to take a little shot of that before I mount it on there. Just another difference between the top one and the top four engine. Alright, guys, what I'm doing here, the. Uh, I had to take my cooling tin back off. What this was doing, it was wanting to stick up under my intake manifold, which would make a, a manifold leak. You can't have that. So I'm just taking enough off of this to where everything will clear and bolt down in place the way it's supposed to. Hey guys, we're back. We got a shop visitor. It's my brother-in-law, Donnie. He come by. He's uh, Donnie's getting ready to start his own business with a uh, detailing business. He's not a Volkswagen dude, but he's a mechanic and he does the, uh, he's got a 78Z28 that he fills with, but anyway, we're going to get back with uh, working on the intakes. I went ahead and took the other uh, the other uh, cooling tin off, so I didn't have the problem that I had on this side with it fitting up okay. And I'm just about ready to stick the other uh, intake on it, and we'll start mounting the carburetors. All right, guys, uh, we have another shop visitor. It's my wife. She came out to see the uh, new carbs, which aren't on yet. She's been waiting for this. And while she's out here, I want to see if she will assist me. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my last stud on here. I've been putting the Loctite to the uh, carburetor studs and screwing them down. I'm going to see if she'll just get a little video for me here. All right. You guys know Loctite is one of my favorite tools for my trade here. And this is a low strength, but these things fit so loosely and these carbs I like put just a little bit on there to hold that stud on. If I take this carb back off I don't want the stud following it out so let's go ahead and throw a gasket on here. Grab one of our carburetors and go on this side. Uh, what I got to do next of course I got to put the nuts on here get those tightened down get the carburetors all tightened down good and then I'm going to start with my linkage. Got to get my throttle linkage put on here. Um, and then I'm going to shut down for the night. I'm just tired, achy, and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this segment, and you have a good one.